I had been meaning to go through this. Um, the favorability on average, or let's say that the trajectory of Disney isn't good. The people that were telling you that this company, we've seen where, they're, where the stock is going, but the people that were telling you that, well, there's no way that you could ever make a put a dent in what it is they're doing because, well, they'll have a successful movie or something like that. These people were black-peeled or, and by that I mean they were basically uh, what is is just going to be, not not realists, which they like to think of themselves as. They were basically fucking losers and they didn't want to put up a fight. Or they were uh, people that were shields that were smart enough to understand that they have something special by having control of a company as big as Disney, as powerful as Disney, considering how much uh, they control in terms of like reputable leg- people see it as legitimate and they don't want to lose that. So they pump it up is what it is. So you have people like, for example, I say it all the time. I the, the amount of people that try to demoralize me from creating a, a my own comic book company and still do to this day and will do when we come out is insane. You know what I mean? They don't want you to even give it a shot. And then they'll say that you'll never be competitive. They do all of that stuff. And really what it is is that, well, if if we don't have this company maintain this legitimacy, well, that puts a dent in our efforts and all the work that we've done to get control of the entertainment industry to be able to utilize it to pimp out our narrative, whatever that may be. Okay. So we have this, uh, this, this, favorability rating right and i'll give you some more insight josh summarized it up about what disney is doing disney's favorability rating has taken a massive dive since last year a new poll has revealed which sees the company's approval rating collapsing from 77 percent to an embarrassing 33 percent amongst respondents unsurprisingly uh, these are not the results the mainstream media outlets wanted to focus on for context, the poll was commissioned by NBC News and cond- conducted by Heart Research Associates Public Opinion Strategies from the 5th of May through the 10th of May, asking a total of, of thousands of a series of questions in relation to politics, political figures, and Disney. Ukraine President Zelensky, Florida Governor DeSantis, President and Vice President Joe Biden, Harris, respectively, as well as former President Donald Trump are amongst the political figures mentioned in the poll. Conversely, other institutions of political affiliations mentioned in the poll uh, commissioned by the NBC uh, by NBC include the United States Supreme Court, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, with Disney being the only corporation that was named. Florida Politics published an article pointing out, pointing to one of the results obtained by the Hart Research Associates Public Opinion Strategies, which show that Florida governor was edged out by Disney in terms of popularity. According to the article, the polls show Disney outperforming DeSantis in, in overall popularity with 33% for Disney and 28% for DeSantis, which is accurate data uh, found in the NBC Commission poll. The article was shared on social media by Florida Politics publisher with the caption, Mouse Over the Governor. NBC News poll, Disney edges out Ron DeSantis in popularity, attempting to put their own spin on the poll results. <laughs> Media strategist Giancarlo uh, Sopo was quick to call out source post writing in his personal account. Yikes, I polled Disney and cannot emphasize enough how abysmal these numbers are from them. Sopo even shares a screenshot of the poll commissioned by NBC to dive this point to drive this point home. Disney's name ID is 100 uh, percent. Their unfavorable uh, unfave rating was 77 uh, minus 21 plus 56 last year. Uh, their post neg rating is 33.30 or plus three. Entertainment brand ratings shouldn't be on par with politicians. Yet they are. And of course, Chris Rufo uh, has tweeted about this. The share of Americans with favorable impression of Disney has collapsed f- from 77% last year to just three, 33% today. So what they tried to do was spin it like, hey, well, they're doing better than Governor DeSantis. Like, yeah, it's a fucking politician. He's going to be a lot more divisive or should be a lot more divisive than, a, I don't know, a company that's uh, engaging in just entertaining the masses, right? 
So that's the part that they left out, what they will lead with. They led with, oh, well, it's the mouse over the governor. Governor neglected to mention that, well, it's, you know, seven, it was 77% last year, and now it's 33% today. Disney is in trouble. Like, I don't know how much I can say that. It sounds crazy because they're like, well, they're still going to put out movies and they're going to. Yes, that is all true. But that doesn't mean that they're going to still operate, even if they stick around. Doesn't mean that they're going to operate in the same capacity as they did before. or have the same level of success that they had before. Hell, it was hard to, uh, to replicate on its own, let alone continuing to do that for decades and decades and decades. We, we're seeing the numbers. We see the shares. We've seen even like some of the movies that they've come out with. A lot of them have been duds. They, they, they hit it big on some, but a lot of them have been duds. Now, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm still very critical of even, uh, uh, you know, other people that are in my space of, you know, we should probably stop funding Disney if we can, if we can uh, at all do that. Disney is among the entertainment companies the easiest to fund because Disney is not like a place that, that let's say a brand that gives you something that you need, you know, they're not delivering you your goods that, uh, you, you know, if you live in that, maybe the area of Florida, you may work for them. But aside from that, the vast majority of the people, they don't work for them. They don't give you your goods. The only thing they provide you is with source of entertainment. That's it. So that can easily be replaced. You don't have to fund them. You don't need them. They don't provide you anything that's a necessity. So I make the argument that of all the mega corporate Big entities, Disney is the easiest to fund, to, 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 excuse me, to defund. And I think people, I'm not saying that it's it's happening fast enough. I think it should be happening a lot faster. But there is some awareness, more awareness in comparison to the words in previous years. Disney drew their line in the sand because of, you know, they're basically saying that we're, hey, Disney's saying we take the side of, they taking, Disney's taking the side of the fucking people that want to groom your children in schools about sexuality. That's simple as playing. I think that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, especially you being in Florida. That rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And as more people and alternatives, this is what, this is where we have to take advantage of it. Because if we don't take advantage of it, well, Disney will remain in the spot that they're in and they'll, they'll uh, if, if, see a loss now, but they'll go back to their original trajectory if, Customers don't get into shape and get in step and start to actually understand like you don't have to fund this company. You need to get control of your fucking addiction and and not for you don't have to fund this co co uh, this company. You don't. You don't. You, you do not have to do that. Disney of all companies can be defunded. It's the easiest one to do it. I'll be the first to say that. You know, however, you cannot at all deny the fact that, well, there's been uh, some changes. There's been some changes among the American, uh, let's say, public opinion uh, regarding Disney. And if it keeps up, that it's just going to be worse for them economically. And I say, go for it. Fuck that damn company. You just listened to a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.